Okay, just really quick. Um, just want to go over my uh, my drowning cable. Um, I know I made a video or two. I made one catching a coon on my chicken coop, or outside my chicken coop with it. But I also use them for uh, beavers in my water line. And um, what I did was I made them 15 or 20 feet. Uh, just put a double ferrule on. This is a 332nd, uh, 332nd inch cable, seven by seven. And um, it's aircraft cable, you know, the you can get the whole big spool from Lowe's or Home Depot or any place like that. But um, you put the drown lock on them. And you can go around your fence post uh, you know, you're uh, around your coop. You could stake it down. I could put a regular, you know, it's not very big. I could put a regular stake in this one. I got a mess. And um, run it out to my brick. And you can hook them up on a brick. Just go around, you know, go, go through the hole and around and back out to itself. And then come back to the stake. Fasten your trap onto your drowning lock. Fasten your swivel on right here. Or you can even go one step farther with that. Any trap you buy nowadays. Here's five. Any trap you buy nowadays comes like this with a J hook on the one end but not the other. So you can take your cable and run it from, from this direction. This direction through down to your to your stake on your bank. And then when you come this direction through, then you take this end and you run it out to your weight. So once they're caught, once he's caught, he can only pull this way and slide down the cable. He can't, he can't come back up the cable that way. But um, what I like about this, this one looks a little prettier over here. What I like about this is um, I can go, I can I can figure out which weight that I want to put on there. If I want to put a small a small weight, I go you know a small brick or even just stake it off in deeper water. And uh, or like the deal with my chicken coop, I could just stake him off away from my coop so he's not tearing up my fence while he's caught. But um, you know, it's pretty universal. You can use them for water or land. Some guys use them on their coyote sets or cat sets and get them off the road, you know. Once they're caught, they get out of sight. You can make them as long as you need them, you know. But um, throw a DP on it and then, you know, get, them, get a coon away from it or run them out to a drowner on a rock or, or anything like that they work for, so. So I go over that. Um, I know I've used them before. I never, never really went over them. Never covered them much, but they're they're handy. Um, pretty universally, you know. You just wrap around, and that's it. Later.